take questions. Questions for LeBron and Dwayne? Ira, right here on this side. LeBron, it, it seemed like you were the only player on the team to really be able to get it going there with your 31, 10, and 5. What was the night like out there as you played point guard and try to get your team going? And was it frustrating? What were the emotions of the night? Uh, I mean, mixed emotions. We started off very well as a team. You know, we had a great first quarter. Uh, but from that point on, you know, uh, you know, they were the better team. And, uh, you know, and that's why they're the champions in 2014. And to follow up, obviously you have a very big decision coming up. How will this game impact that decision, and what do you think your potential timetable will be on your decision? I haven't, I haven't even really thought about that just yet. Um, you know, uh, not disappointed in, in any of my teammates. Just uh, wish we could have came through, uh, you know, played a better series. But obviously we ran up against a, a better team this year, and, uh, you know, I have, like I said, I haven't even thought about it yet. Michael Laverne, the left side. Dwayne, you gave the Spurs a lot of credit for what they were able to do to you guys, but what's, what was the biggest difference for you physically in this series versus what you did in, in the conference finals against Indiana where you seem to have your game? Nothing. Just struggled a little bit. I'm not, as I told you guys, I'm never going to point at anything physically. I felt fine. Uh, you know, I just struggled a little bit offensively. You know, wish I could have did more, but it's the nature of the game, you know, so... Uh, none physically at all. Greg in the back left. Hi, LeBron. Uh, you came to Miami, obviously, to win as many titles as you can. Um, do they have, do the Heat have, Wade, Bosch, everybody, do they have enough in the tank to win more going forward as constituted now? Uh, I'm, I'm not even nowhere near at that point. <laughs> uh, you know, we went to four straight finals in four years, and, uh, you know, we're not discrediting what we was able to accomplish in these four years. We lost one, we won two, and we lost another one. You know, if take 50 percent, you know, in four years, you know, in championships any day. Obviously, you want to win all of them, but that's just the nature of the game. You win some, you lose some. You know, you just got to come back the next year and, you know, and be better as an individual, as a team, you know, and go from there. But. You know, I know me and D-Wade and, and CB, you know, not, not proud of the way we played. Uh, you know, and all three of us, you know, that's the last thing we're thinking about is what, what, what's going on this summer. And just real quick follow-up, did, did you notice by chance the swirling? I mean, even Chandler Parsons was talking about what you were going to do this week. Everybody's been talking about you, 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 you and Carmelo. Have you heard that stuff? What do you think of that stuff, whether you heard it or not? No, I haven't heard it. Um, it really doesn't doesn't matter to me what people say at all. Over here on this side, Jason. Uh, LeBron, in those first six minutes, did you was that the kind of basketball you were hoping for, and did you feel at that point like you guys were going to be able to make a stand tonight? No. Just wanted to try to inspire my teammates, and uh, you know, came out very aggressive, made some shots, got to the free throw line, and tried to inspire my teammates to try to get a win. Obviously, I ain't do enough. Chris Bosch described this as the best bat the Spurs as the best basketball team he's ever played against. How would you characterize what you ran into in the finals? I would agree. They were, the, they were the much better team. Uh, this is that's what team basketball and that's how team basketball should be played. You know, it's selfless. Guys move, cut, pass. You got a shot, you take it, but it's all for the team and, and it's never about the individual. And, um, you know, that was, the, that was the brand of basketball, and that's how, that's how team basketball should be played. Third row in the center. Simone Bridges from Black Sports Online. LeBron, as a leader of this team, what do you tell your teammates, specifically the younger ones and the new ones, about dealing with a loss like this, and how can they help you in the future? I mean, it's hard to say anything. I mean, everyone is going through their own emotions right now um everyone deals with it a little differently um for me i keep my head high i understand uh the position i've been able to put myself and put this team in since i got here so you know my head stay high and i'm gonna stay positive and uh 
you know, use this as a, another opportunity to get better next year. So, you know, but everyone is different. Spears over here on the right. Uh, Mark Spears, Yahoo Sports. For both of you guys, what are these four years meant being together, and playing together, off the court, all that? What, are, what have these years been like for you guys? And is it what you expected or more? Well, it's, uh, man, we didn't know what to expect, you know, when we decided to uh, become teammates years ago. You know, we just knew that uh, we felt as individuals um, that we could do it, that we can put our egos to the side and, um, and not care about the individual part of the game and become a great team and become two leaders of, of that team. Um, it's been a hell of a ride in these four years, you know. And, um, you know, we, when, we team, when we decided to play together, we didn't say, okay, let's try for four years. You know, we said, let's just play together and let's see what happens. And uh, we've been successful in the sense of what we, what we try to accomplish. And that's going to the finals, and we did it. Uh, we would love to be four for four. It's just not, it wasn't in the cards for us to be that. But, um, you know, we have no other reason not to be proud of each other uh, for what we've accomplished on and off the court uh, for these four years together. And, and LeBron, what are your thoughts about uh, what you've learned over the years from management, coaches, just how the organization has uh, treated you? Uh, I mean, I play for, I play for my teammates. You know, every single night. I don't really get involved in management and, 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 all, and all of that. That's not my job. I, I play for my teammates. I try to lead my teammates. I try to inspire my teammates. And, and I let guys do their job. And, uh, you know, and I do mine. Last three in the back, Jason and Chris over here. Mike Benson, AP Radio. For both of you guys, Kawhi Leonard is the finals MVP. Will you talk about what you saw from him, especially over these, these last three games, how much he's grown from last year? Uh, very efficient. I mean, he's very efficient. Uh, the first two games, he didn't play so well. I thought he attacked more in the last three games. Shot the ball extremely well. Uh, I just, you know, every year you gain more and more confidence. Guys, you know, give you confidence. And, uh, you know, he played extremely well. Yeah, I just, I, like he just played free. You know, you can tell after the first two games, it seemed like Pockers or his teammates went to him and said, just play basketball. And he um, not only took what the defense gave him, he took what he wanted at times as well. So, um, you know, he's a young player who's grown up in this league. Everyone, you know, knows he's what, what, what Coach Park said. He's the future of this team. And he did an unbelievable job of, uh, of playing the role they needed him to play. Jason, then Chris. LeBron, you said in February you couldn't picture yourself leaving Miami. Do you still feel that way? Uh, I mean, I'm, I would deal with my summer when I get to that point. Me and my team will sit down, we'll, we'll deal with it. I love Miami, my family loves it. You know, but it's, it's, a, it's obviously, you know, right now that's not even what I'm thinking about. You guys are trying to find answers. I'm not going to give you one. I'm just not going to give it to you. So, you know, when I get to that point, I deal with it. And, uh, you know, when it gets to that point. And how do you handle this loss at this point in your career compared to the other two times when you lost in the finals? First time I lost, um, you know, as a team, we're excited to get there. We were more excited to get there than, than to win. I mean, uh, you know, then obviously we'd have loved to win that game, uh, win that series, but the Spurs were more dominant than us. They were more seasoned. They had been there a few years, and they took advantage of our youth and inexperience. Uh, three years ago, our first year here, that was, it was probably the, that was more hurtful than this one. Uh, in the sense of, uh, you know, we had put so much into it. We was going through so much. And, um, you know, that Dallas team, uh, you know, was the better team in that series as well. Uh, obviously, they all heard this this year they, they dominated us from every facet of the game, offensively, defensively. So, I mean, they all hurt. Um, you know, but I've been able to be a part of five of them. And uh, I would love to sit up here and say I was 5-0 and in them, but I'm not. Um, I'm 2-3, and three, but, you know, a lot of guys don't get this opportunity to even compete for a championship, and I've been blessed to compete for five of them in my 11 years. Chris, so last far. one in the back right. Chris Broussard, ESPN. If you guys do return intact next season, the big three and a few other players, what do you need to add change to beat this Spurs team if you were to meet them again? 
Well, I don't think it's just the Spurs. You know, um, it's the whole league. The whole league continues to get better every single year. You know, so, um, you know, obviously we would need to get better uh, from every facet, um, every position. Uh, you know, it's just how the league works. The Spurs continue to get better. Obviously, they kept, you know, those three guys intact, but they continue to put guys around them, high basketball IQ guys around them, high energy guys around them that fit into the system um, of what Pop wanted to do. So, um, obviously, it's not all it's just about the Spurs. It's about the whole league. The whole league is, uh, you know, excited about returning the next season, and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Thank you both. Thank you.